Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Oh man, this is just an exciting day for so many reasons. First of all, I have received in the mail Halo Universe Series 2. I can't believe it's in my hands. A lot of people doubted it was even real. And look at it, ah, the packaging itself is just so nice. And then you also may notice a big change. I'm on a white background, baby. I'm recording right now at Kevin Hurd's house. Halo Collector's Kevin Hurd. He's the owner of the world's largest Halo collection. And let me tell you, things are about to kick off. We're gonna film so many videos here, like I don't even know how how many I'm going to be able to record. As many as humanly possible, he owns some of the rarest collectibles in the world. For two weeks, I'm staying at his house, and at the end, we're attending HCS, the Halo Championship Series finale in Seattle. I got so much to say about this, so much to say, but today's not the day to be talking about that. Today is the day to be talking about Halo Universe Series 2. For more information on what's going on with me and Kevin, for more information on what's going on with Kevin and I, we'll have a video dropping in two days' time with all the juicy details. Would you just look at this? Would you just look at this blind bag series? I, ah, I, I can't believe my eyes. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got an EOD, a soldier, a marine, grunt, flood, and a Promethean. There's so much to talk about here. First of all, if you're new to the line, Halo Universe is a brand new venture by Mega. Now they're called Mega, no more Mega Constructs, and they're aiming to provide figures from all the different eras of Halo. The games, the comics, the TV, the movies, whatever you know and love, they might make some Halo products about it. I mean, for the last couple of years, it's been only Halo Infinite products. Now we're getting Universe products spanning all the different games. And I want to give the most enormous shout out of all to Demarcation Media. He had a review of this product come out a few days ago and then he sent his figures straight to me and that's just such a generous offer because he paid a lot of money to get these early to get the review out and then he was generous enough to allow me to get the review out as well. So please make sure to follow Demarcation Media Z Fowler. He is a living legend. There are the codes on the screen. I'm going to include them in the comments as well. This was like a seller in China that had these so I imagine they were just uh, either pulled off the factory line or maybe from an initial batch that's going to the west so like these could either appear in months time in the spring lineup or they could start appearing now I'm not actually sure I've included one of the rarity sheets as well as one of the open packs so you can see the packaging in person thank you so much demarcation media you really have uh, stuck your neck out here also you may notice that uh, EOD has something strange on his back there what could that possibly be wow so in the past we've had uh, what have the blind bag series been uh, Infinite Series 1, Infinite Series 2, Infinite Series 3, Universe Series 1, Infinite Series 4, Universe Series 2. Beautiful. Okay, we're just gonna pull these out one by one. And the first one is... Da -da -da -da. Ah ha ha, yes, that's where we wanted to start. Beautiful, beautiful. So, we get six, count them, six floody boys little popcorns. Six is so generous, man. Like, they really didn't have to provide us with six, but they did. And this is the second time we've had flood forms in blind bags. We had five in the Clash on the Ring blind bags. Five of them in Clash on the Ring. They were a really popular bag. I personally will buy 20, 30 of this. You get six one more than last time and it's way better than last time because these are all different shades these are different colors and there are different colors the clash on the ring flood as well we've got three different colors which like mega mega you you've really provided me with exactly what i want here like yeah, three different colors is perfect i don't want all the same color i loved that uh you know we got a variety of colors back in the day we didn't get any flood for a long time only with the clash on the ring did we start to get flood as well as the kinsano cyclops again and now we're finally getting new articulation flood combat forms in the traxxas factory flood and an unnamed halo hero from the fall 2023 halo heroes line so we're getting a brand new wave of flood and honestly due to how popular they're going to be i think mega will go hard on the flood in 24 as well so it's great to see that it's on their radar and we get three different colors this uh sort of i mean what, what even is that color this murky dark gray brownie i don't even know this is more like a tan or a beigey kind and this is a uh, dark brown but they are yeah really interesting colors actually really interesting colors no further speckling or detail on them but just like look at 
look, look, look at that thing. Look at that thing. It's, it's absolutely hideous. Like, that is disgusting. And it comes in two pieces. And it's this nice elastic -y material. They've also used this for the uh, biomass for Captain Keys, the proto grave mine. It's a really great material. I love that the flood are like this yucky, rubbery substance. And Mega just upped themselves. They Not only did they do six instead of five from Clash on the Ring, they did two different colors. So that is wonderful. The flood are our first figure. And um, I wouldn't want it any other way. Like six of these guys, man. Six. Ah, so good. We also know that we're getting 10 of these in the Traxxas Factory flood. So pretty insane. What have we got next? Three, two, one. Ah ha ha, here he is. Now, this is the figure that caught everyone's uh, eye. First of all, we'll have a look at this rarity sheet. Ooh, quite large. Okay, nice, nice. Commons, the EOD, Marine, and Flood. That is perfection. Total perfection. I would have had the commons as the marine, flood, and promethean. What is that? What is that on his back? I've mentioned it uh, once already in this video. What could that black thing possibly be on the EOD's back? I don't know. Very interesting putting a grunt as an ultra rare. I've seen a lot of people online say um, that they don't like the grunt being a rare or an ultra rare because they like to army build them. I have enough grunts personally, so I don't mind this being the ultra rare. I don't need to army build it. And it is also nice that these all have different colored base plates. Halo Universe Series too magnificent. This EOD is something special. I really love this uh, this lime green. It would have been cool for Mega to stick their neck out and make like a new articulation CQB, something that we've not had before. You know, there isn't actually anything new in this series. Yes, we do have that uh, Marine because he now has a removable helmet, but that's a minor thing. And we're already getting that Marine in the elephant sand nest, sand trap. But this EOD is still nice. I, and I do really enjoy this lime green. I have also seen a few people comment that, uh, you know, there's only single colors on these Spartans, which like usually with, I, I usually praise this, that the Spartans in most recent blind bags have had different colors halfway down their limbs. Technically this guy does with black and green, but it it's subtle. And I gotta say the silver on his uh, helmet there and the bronze visor, yeah, he's looking badass. Mega's actually bringing back quite a few weapons that we've not seen in a while, particularly the railgun with the soldier, the EOD. Yeah, looking fantastic. But then you may notice he's got a weird little stud on his back. Now, what could this possibly be for? Yeah, I saw, you know, this this uh, set leaked online. And I also want to say, I don't cover leaks. People were saying, have you not seen these images? Have you not seen these images? I don't cover leaks. I want a good relationship with Mega. So uh, I can't talk about them until Mega actually sends me the official image, which they never did. This EOD comes with a very interesting piece here. And only a few people noticed this because it was only on the back of the uh, image for the blind bag instruction manual. This is Sodo, an original Xbox backpack. Like, what? Are you serious? That is so crazy. And the printed detail on that is beautiful. If people aren't aware, this was a collectible for the 20th anniversary of Halo in the Master Chief collection, alongside a lot of awesome goodies. It's awesome. It means Mega is really going deep into Halo. I mean, they're, they're going into the Master Chief collection. I think this is the first time Mega has ever made an MCC specific piece or figure, I think. But it works. Mega, keep this up. This is a really, really good look for you. It comes with a plain black base plate, probably to mirror the Xbox backpack. Also, this Mauler has a nice speckled effect to it, which is a bonus. Yeah, it, it's it's a good figure. It's a very good figure. Uh, the lime green, we haven't seen anything like this in a long time. All these new articulation Halo 3 figures, if you pause the video, it looks like a McFarlane figure. Like, it looks so good. Ah, oh, man, look at that. Yeah, nice. You can also hold it. That's bad to the bone, my man. EOD's coming home playing Xbox with the boys. What could we possibly have next in our Halo Universe Series 2 journey. 3, 2, 1. Oh, I know what that feels like. It's a Billy the Grunt. And yes, this is another official canonical Billy the Grunt. I've always said the official Billy the Grunt is the bronze kind of Halo 2, Halo 3 Grunt. And this is what it is. Like, this, this is exactly my Billy the Grunt. And he has two plasma pistols. And also, he's a shiny boy. This is a glossy metallic Grunt. He has this, uh, yeah, we've seen this exact Grunt before, but uh, slightly different, a different skin tone, but then also a way less reflective uh, arm. Yeah, he, he's way less reflective. This guy is metallic as heck, and I love it. I love my metallic Billy. 
He comes with charging plasma grenades and these uh, sort of glossy half translucent uh, grenades are very similar to the material or the uh, coating that we had on the buildable energy sword. Every single piece is different. You can see they're very different looking. They've got a different glass effect. You know, they're all randomized with how the uh, liquid mold sets. I really should ask Kevin at MCX about that. He comes with a green base plate. Again, an example of this uh, these different colors setting. You can see this stripe here. That'll be unique to this single base plate. There isn't as much to say about this. We've never had a blind bag series without a grunt and I don't think we ever will. They're just staple. They're iconic. They're, they're beautiful. Although we really do need more brutes in our blind bags, Mega. We really do. I'm a big fan of that metallic. It reminds me of all the 10th anniversary of Mega Constructs figures. Okie dokie. Number four. What have we got? It's a Spartan warrior. Okay, let's have a closer look at this bad boy. Yeah, he reminds me a lot of uh, of old school Halo 4, Halo 5 figures from Mega. He has that classic uh, speckly effect all over his armor, which again is totally randomized and is not that visible on this one. Not as much as other figures I've had before, particularly ones that came in old school fire teams because there were so many of those and um, some were good, some were bad. I have a lot of reviews of those on my channel. You should check them out. This guy's great. This guy's great. Again, like uh, a single color, but again, he does have a change in color on his limbs here, which ain't that bad. He comes with a rail gun, which I mean, when's the last time we had a rail gun in this set? Probably quite a while. There were some, I think, deleted files in Halo Infinite of a rail gun, but this is clearly meant to be Halo 4, 5 era. And he has a interesting colored gray base plate. He's a very plain figure. I know he won't be anyone's favorite per se, but I've always been a big fan of soldiers and warriors from Halo 4. This guy is, yeah, he's He's just good cannon fodder. He'll be a bit forgettable over the years. Uh, you know, I, I don't think anyone's gonna remember him as much as, say, this EOD, but he's nice. Uh, he's a good filler. I never go a blind bag opening or video without saying, I do not like that we're down to six figures. We should be on eight. Just pat him out. Give us a brute. Give us an elite. We have two figures left, and which one are we gonna get? It's either the common or the rare. It's the common marine. Very nice. Now, Z at Demarcation Media has spoke very, very highly about this Marine, and oh man, I can see why. Look at that. That is a really, really, oh wow, that is a really high quality figure, guys. Okay, first of all, this is the first ever figure from Halo 3 with a removable helmet which we love, we we love, we, you, you gotta love it. I love that he's a darker skin tone. We need equal representation in our Mega Constructs figures, in figures in general. Yeah, the, the removable helmet is so clean. Like that is really, really nice. It makes me think that maybe you don't need that little peg inside. Maybe you could just pop it on top so he doesn't have to have a hole in his head. But maybe that's a discussion for a different day. Ah, the, the, something that really pops out to me is the green highlights on his boots and the bottom of his leg. Like, look at that. That's a really high quality of paint app. That, oh man, I love this green. I love Halo 3 Marines. The last time we had Halo 3 Marines, I believe, was the drone, uh, the four pack with two drones and two Marines. It's one of the fan favorites and you can still get it at Dollar General, some Dollar Generals, though the stores have been clearing out their Halo recently, hopefully for a new lineup. Love this figure, love this figure. How many colors am I counting here? One, two, three, four, five, like, ooh. The gold on his visor is perfect and clean. The green is really crisp. There's no speckling effect on this one, but honestly, I kind of like it. There is a speckling effect on his exposed, what we saw, like jumpsuit. I'm not sure. Maybe his like, maybe his shirt and pants, and then he has a dark gray jumpsuit on top. I'm not sure, but he looks phenomenal. And I love the Halo 3 Marine design. I kind of low key like Halo 4 Marines more, maybe. I petition that Mega makes a Marine tribute pack, and it comes with a Halo CE 2, 3, Four, five infinite marines all looking beautiful and a reach marine i guess we're also missing a reach marine with removable helmet but we got more of these coming in the elephant sand trap that was delayed till next year ah oh, man i love it he comes with a basic assault rifle as all marines should this is one of my favorite figures oh you mean you mean to tell me i gotta send these back to demarcation media oh no 
Oh, woe is me. Well, you know what the last figure is, and arguably it's the one that I wanted to see the most up close and personal. It's the Promethean Warrior. I did notice he has, uh, and I'm gonna see if it's true, kind of an interesting uh, face. Ah, like, that, that, it's a little weird. It looks like he's kind of wearing lipstick, but I'll give it a pass. The only strange thing about it is it doesn't match the color of his, uh, his translucent uh, body parts underneath. Mega did do a really good job at uh, reenacting the Promethean because it's a it's a hard figure to make this warrior because did I say warrior or soldier? Am I getting warriors and soldiers just confused <laughs> in this video? Promethean soldiers are a hard thing to make in figure form because they have so many movable floating parts but Mega did a really good job of it. It's great to see this thing return and I don't see enough people talk about the fact that like I swear the back of a Promethean soldier is meant to be a guardian right? Does that mean we finally got a Mega Constructs guardian? <laughs> it's a guys look it's a micro Mega Constructs guardian. Maybe if Mega listens to me enough that we'll, we'll one day get a Promethean, uh, a, a Guardian with our Mega Constructs, I really do hope. This is a pretty good figure. I, I own so many soldiers uh, that uh, I like the darker toned uh, figures, but it's it's still really nice. Uh, it's got some little red highlights on its pelvis, which is a good touch, and also these little highlights on his uh, knee pads, so that's good. Uh, and then, yeah, I, the, the translucent uh, inner arms are very nice. I I always love how they do that, but no more translucent pieces inside his body. That's just plain black. Yeah, he, he's good. Good to see the Prometheans resurrected. Good to see that they're still getting a little bit of love. Yeah, they're not the most entertaining character to fight in the game, but I, you still gotta respect him. You gotta show him a bit of love. Halo Universe Series 2. In the common figures, we've got the Halo 3 EOD, the Halo 3 Marine, and some popcorny boys. Six of them. Can you believe we get six? And two different colors. See, Demarcation Media also uh, says that this is probably the best blind bag series ever. I would be, uh, I would be inclined to maybe agree. In the rares, we've got a Halo 4 Spartan Warrior, definitely not a soldier, and a Promethean Halo 5 Soldier, definitely not a warrior. And the ultra rare, interestingly enough, is the Halo 2, Halo 3 Grunt. What a beautiful series. What a beautiful series. I gotta give one massive monstrous shout out to Demarcation Media for sending this over to me. It's a blessing and a curse, a blessing because I get to unbox them and show you guys how dope these are, but a curse because I have to return them. It's been a joy to review them, a joy to open them, and thank you Z for sending these. Everybody go and sub to Demarcation Media and check out his review of these as well. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite, which one you're going to army build, which one you don't really care about. Tell you what, I would love you to rank them down below. Rank them one to six, one being your best, and I'll do the same in the comments as well. I gotta say, the EOD is probably the standout, I guess, because of the backpack, but the Flood is, uh, well, the Flood and the Marine are just so dope for army build, and the Grunt as well. I mean, well, the Promethean, this is probably the closest we'll ever get to a full blind bag for army building, right? Like, the Warrior is the only thing you don't really need to army build. What a legendary series. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. As always, you stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. We have got pretty much the biggest two weeks on my channel ever coming up. Like right now, I'm at Kevin Hurd's house, the owner of the world's largest Halo collection, and I'm gonna be making as many videos as possible of rare collectibles and HCS. We're even going to a toy show in Portland for three days and selling there. So if you're in the Portland, Oregon, or Seattle area, please do let me know. This was Halo Universe Series 2 with a domain, and all the figures in all their beautiful glory are signing off.